The glory belongs to the Most High God for what you're about to see in this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how I linked DNA marker U175 to the tribe of Levi. I want you to go to the Jewish Virtual Library and look up genetic ancestry for the Jewish people. Okay, this is my main reference according to the Jewish Virtual Library itself. On page 7, the text clearly states that the corn model haplotype, the priesthood, is found within haplogroup J. Okay? Family Tree DNA offers a test for this corn model haplotype. You see right there. According to Family Tree DNA, the corn model haplotype is found within haplogroup J M267. Let's take a look at it. Go to the International Society of Genetic Genealogy, and you see right there, J1 is defined by that DNA marker, M267. So everything lines up. It's right at the very top. It's the leader. I kept searching through Family Tree DNA's database. There's the link. I found this kit, N115815. He's in haplogroup J1. This man right here was M267 positive and U175 negative. Why is the DNA community testing this man for U175 and he's in haplogroup J? They know. They know. They know that it's linked to the tribe of Levi. I kept searching through Family Tree DNA's database and I found this kit, 204753. He's in haplogroup J1. This brother is M267 positive and U175 positive. So they found it. So now we know who came first and who came after. Okay? This gentleman came first because U175 is in haplogroup E. It came through my haplotype, E-U175. That means that he got this mutation on his chromosome, okay, at a specific location. And in the DNA community, know where to look to see if he got this code. This is the code right here for U175. He got the same code as I. Unbelievable. They know, okay? Moving on. Family Tree DNA off, off, offers a test also uh, for, for the J2 Cohenium Zetakite uh, priest, to see, uh, that line, to see, uh, you know, or do you have the mutations on your Y chromosome to be linked to the Cohenium Zetakite Zeta priest, okay? Moving on, J2. J2 is at the very top also, and it's defined by DNA marker M172, okay? I kept searching. And I found this kit, 9856. This man right here has an M172 positive mutation, but he's negative for U175. They're testing again in haplogroup J2 to see if this man positive for U175. Okay? Kept searching. And I found this kit, 229942. He's in haplogroup J, uh, M172, J2. This man is positive for M172, and he's also positive for U175. Again, we know who came first and who came after, okay? This man came through my haplotype also. What I just showed you is that haplogroup J, right there, all seven of those mutations, the ones that's positive came through haplogroup E-U175, the ones that's negative came through haplogroup J itself. Look how God split them, okay? I found U175 and other haplogroups and that'll be Uniting the Levites Part 2, okay? This is Michael F. Hammer, by the way, that found these matches, okay? These, these 21 uh, haplogroups uh, that's linked to the Cohen M. 21 different haplogroups, okay? And I found it in multiple haplogroups. I just showed you uh, haplogroup J. Okay, so we took care of that. Let me ask you, are you ready? Are you prepared for what's coming next? Thank you for watching this video.